charges for a convicted drunk driver accused of causing a crash that injured two people earlier this month. We're now learning she was also arrested just days earlier in another drunken driving incident. Fox 9's Maury Glover joins us now with more on her series of arrests. Maury? Well, Lynn Phila is in the Chisago County Jail, accused of being intoxicated behind the wheel in her most recent crash. But 10 days before that, police in Wisconsin had arrested her for a similar offense. Prosecutors say Lynn Phila's blood alcohol concentration was more than twice the legal limit to drive when she ran a stop sign and crashed into another car in Lindstrom, injuring two people before trying to leave the scene just over a week ago. But that may not have been the only time she was intoxicated behind the wheel in the month of March. She's moving around stuff. Investigators say an officer in St. Croix Falls, Wisconsin, pulled Phila over driving what looks like the same car from the Lindstrom crash after noticing her driving suspiciously just before 9 p.m. on March 10th. Get up. No, no, no. Get up. Stop. What are you trying to grab? The officer says he could smell intoxicants coming from her car. Her speech was slow and slurred, and her eyes were watery and droopy. Put your hands up on there. But Phila refused a breathalyzer and had to be taken to a hospital for blood tests. This is the first over in a long time. She was arrested for operating a motor vehicle while under the influence and obstructing an officer. But she was released and wasn't charged until last Friday, nearly a week after she crashed into the couple in Lindstrom. Emotionally, it was sort of... Surprising, but also not surprising. Last week, we spoke to Rich Lovedahl, whose brother Kevin was killed when Phyllis car crossed the center line and crashed head on into Kevin's van in Linwood Township back in 2018. Prosecutors say her blood alcohol concentration in that case was nearly three times the legal limit to drive, but she received a staggered sentence and probation. We as a family agreed to the uh, proposed plea bargain with the hope that she would turn her life around. That was our hope. It doesn't seem to have happened. Now, Anoka County also has a hold on Phila while it determines if the Lindstrom crash violated her probation. These issues are expected to be addressed at her next court hearing on April 25th. Back to you. All right, Maury, thank you.